September 28th, the go of unconditional identification. Jesus said to him, One thing you lack, go your way, sell whatever you have, and give to the poor, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. Mark 10, verse 21. The rich young ruler had the controlling passion to be perfect. When he saw Jesus Christ, he wanted to be like him. Our Lord never places anyone's personal holiness above everything else when he calls a disciple. Jesus' primary consideration is my absolute annihilation of my right to myself and my identification with him, which means having a relationship with him in which there are no other relationships. Luke 14 verse 26 has nothing to do with salvation or sanctification, but deals solely with unconditional identification with Jesus Christ. Very few of us truly know what is meant by the absolute go of unconditional identification with and abandonment and surrender to Jesus. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him. Mark 10 verse 21. This look of Jesus will require breaking your heart away forever from allegiance to any other thing or person. Has Jesus ever looked in this way at you? This look of Jesus transforms, penetrates, and captivates. Where you are soft and pliable with God is where the Lord has looked at you. If you are hard and vindicative, insistent on having your own way, and always certain that the other person is more likely to be in the wrong than you are, then there are whole areas of your nature that have never been transformed by his gaze. One thing you lack. From Jesus Christ's perspective, oneness with him, nothing between, is the only good thing. Sell whatever you have. I must humble myself until I am merely a living person. I must essentially renounce possessions of all kinds, not for salvation, for only one thing saves a person, that is absolute reliance and faith upon Jesus Christ, but to follow Jesus. Come and follow me. And the road is the way he went.